Alright guys, it's that time where we discover what's really new in InDesign 2024. So starting first with the height spread feature. So for instance, here we do have the brochure and we do have multiple pages as you can see. And let's say we do want to show our client these two pages while we are exporting the file into maybe PDF. So in that case, we'll go to pages and I can click on these two pages in here, which are 14 and 15. Then I can right click and select hide spread, which will show that hidden eye icon, which means that when we export that file by going to file, then export and select PDF print for instance, pressing save. So while we're exporting, we do have pages all and we do have spreads selected. So we're going to be exporting two pages in front of each others. And we don't really have to worry about excluding these two pages. They're not going to be included into that exported PDF. The other way around that is by selecting a range. And in that case, you'll type numbers like uh, 4 to 5, comma, and you type 6 to 7 and stuff like that. So if we wanted to exclude 14 and 15, we're not going to be typing these two pages. So in that case, it's going to be saving us, of course, so much time. And anytime you would like to show these pages, you can cancel that and right click to show spread. Another feature will be including file name suffix. And this simply means while you are exporting maybe these two pages in here into BNG or JPEG format, in that exported file's name, you can include its file size, number and stuff like that. So let's go to file, export. We can select JPEG for instance because we don't have any transparency within that spread. Save. And here in the export options, we do have suffix. We can click on that plus. So in that case, we can add page number or size or even incremental numbers. So I think let's go with page size. And in that case, as you can see, we do have example. That's our file's name added to it, the size which is a four size 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. We can click plus again to add page number or even incremental numbers. And as you can see guys, we can add three suffixes in that case. And once we export that file, that's gonna be your file's name. Another feature in Adobe's InDesign 2024 is that you can publish online using Google's analytics instead of Adobe's analytics, which is much better by the way. So if we go ahead and click file, publish online, if you wanna publish a newsletter or a PDF or something like that, you can use InDesign for that matter. However, usually designers not really into that, but it's good to know that you have that option as well. So here, for instance, we do have analytics. And if you do have a Google Analytics account, you need to integrate your accounts number in here. Then you can publish that and you're good to go. You can track your documents, visitors, clicks, and searches, and stuff like that. Now in InDesign 2024, they are using HarfBuzz, which simply should be enhancing the look of some languages, like Arabic, for example, Hebrew, Indic languages, basically. So for instance, Arabic, Hebrew, and other languages should be benefiting from that. And by now, they should be looking much better in InDesign. Now also in InDesign, you can use UXP plugins, and actually plugins are existing also in Photoshop and Illustrator. They can be productivity plugins, design assets, and stuff like that. And if you wanna access them, you do have plugins tab in here, where you can click on plugins panel, or even you can browse plugins by clicking in here, which will launch your Creative Cloud application. And as you can see guys, you can access that by Stock and Marketplace, all plugins, not all of them are free. However, now we do have filters in design. You can search for plugins as well for Photoshop and Illustrator if you cancel that. And if we scroll down, we do have Pantone Connect, for example, and other cool plugins as you can see. Some of them are specific to InDesign. Another amazing feature in InDesign 2024 is Auto Style. However, while recording this video, it's only available in English international and English North America and German locals and simply this feature will be easily enabling you to auto style your text. So if you do have plain text, you can click on paragraph styles and click on that folder icon in here with that spark on it, then select from these pre-made auto styles to automatically have a title, paragraph style for you and stuff like that. 
maybe minor adjustments to adjust the spacing and stuff like that but this could be saving you so much time or even you can create a new style back for you or back style where you can define your own title subtitle paragraph and stuff like that and usually each and every designer has his own taste and his own favorite fonts so maybe you can set that one once and every time you're working on a brochure or any other publication you can quickly apply your own style and save yourself tons of time so hope you enjoyed that video guys that was Khalil Ibrahim with you stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in next one